Think before you talk, huh? Do you hear how dumb you sound? I fuck with Shawty cause she bought a business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy. I know that she put in some time. You remind me of me. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey Kate and make sure you subscribe because we live here. Period. Alright y'all, so I'm starting off the weekly vlog. Really it's a weekend stripper vlog. Or I might do it longer, I don't know. And y'all see I have my little elastic band on because my lace was lifting. Because when I was moving, your girl was like sweating and stuff. It was a lot, so my lace kind of lifted a little bit. So I'm just trying to lay it back down. But I am going to work right now. Today is Friday. It is the beginning of the month, so it's a little iffy usually during the beginning of the month. So I waited to work until the weekend. And I also did work Halloween weekend, which I did not vlog for y'all. But that was because I was in the middle of moving and it was just a lot going on. Halloween weekend was actually a really good weekend. I wish I would have vlogged it for y'all. Your girl made some good money on those days. I did put the money count for Friday of Halloween weekend in my preparing to move vlog. So if y'all want to see the money count for that one, make sure y'all go watch that video. On Saturday's money count, I did not put in any video. And Sunday's money count, I did not put in any video. I forgot how much I made on Saturday and Sunday. But I ended up making more money on Saturday and Sunday than I did on Friday. I want to say Saturday was around 900 and Sunday was like 1200 I think something like that. So overall, it was a good weekend for me. Hopefully this weekend is the same. But I did vlog my moving process and I did do an empty apartment tour. So if y'all haven't watched that video, make sure y'all go watch that video. Cause your girl's in her new crib right now i'm so excited to start getting furniture and stuff and doing like videos in here oh i also got my lashes done by a new lash tech i really like how she did them it's really giving like natural lash i really like it i asked her to do the cat eye and i really like how they look i feel like my eyelashes do not look droopy or heavy and yeah they look really good but her customer service was horrible so i probably will not go back to her for a fail unfortunately because I actually like how my lashes look. I actually have to leave the house like right now. So I'll either see you guys at work or see you guys when I get back home. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Y'all, fire. This food is actually fire tonight. Money and food is all I care about. Your girl is home. I had a good night, but it's just a bunch of sassy ass niggas and a bunch of fake ass bitches in LA. And that's why... I stick to myself. It was a multiple niggas hating on me tonight and I'm just like, what's up with you niggas for real? But I don't have a lamp in my living room yet. I don't even know if I'm able to talk to y'all. I'm literally just gonna count it right here on the floor. I could do it right here. Ow, I'm always hurting myself. I could have had a bag on a bag, like literally. I just don't understand why a grown ass man is gonna stop a woman from getting her money. Let me tell y'all this before I forget. Okay, so Odell, what is his name? Odell Beckham came to our club today. He was cool. He was whatever. I wasn't in his section, so I don't really care about him. He did throw a bag, though, but I wasn't in his section. But I just wanted to tell y'all that. So anyways, my night was going regular, whatever, whatever. And then there was a section towards, like, the middle of the night that I came in. And the girl, I was talking to her, like, the dude girlfriend that was, he handed her all the money. And, like, she had all the money in her hand. And she had told him, like, babe, I want her in the section. Literally, I was right next to her when she said it. And they was from Houston. She was like, babe, I want her in the section. I come around into the section. And then he looks at security because security is right by his section. And he says, I'm like... And his girlfriend just was like, she just shrugged her shoulders. So I just walked away. But, like, if your girl wanted me in the section, why are you hating? Like, just let me be in the section. So then me being me i go around the back where the girlfriend is at and i start dancing right there for her in the back of the section and what did your girl do she threw money at me behind the couch because you're weird that was the first sassy that i came across tonight the second one another section came in i could tell they was gonna throw a bag they already had one girl in the section you know they was picking more girls i'm standing there or whatever waiting for them to pick one of the guy's girlfriends literally says i'm the second girl she picked she says her right there she picks me. I said, okay, excuse me, babe, excuse me, babe. I walk in the section. I'm talking to her. She like, about to start throwing money at me. Their homie who is throwing more money, so security's gonna listen to whatever he's saying over the girlfriend pick me. So like, it's kind of like whoever got more money they gonna listen to. So I'm like talking to her. Dude looks at me and says, points at me with his finger and says, 
to get out the section in front of everybody y'all like all the dancers was right there looking at me i just was like okay and i was like oh he don't want me in here so i gotta go she was like oh i'm sorry babe and i just walked out and at the end of the night like another dancer had came up to me and she was like i don't like how he did that the way he did it was really rude but the way you handled it was really good because a lot of females would have been tripping and i'm just like i'm not finna argue with no nigga about staying in no section but like why would you even let me walk in the section and then tell me to get out that was weird it was like embarrassing i low-key felt embarrassed like it pissed me off i'm not gonna lie it really did but i was like you know what it's cool because right after he told me to get out somebody had ended up throwing money on me right there so i was like whatever i made money tonight but i don't think i made my goal and I also got asked to do a music video tomorrow, y'all. But they want me to be there at 11 a.m. I'm not finna get up at 11 a.m. Music videos, they don't even be worth it half the time, which is an hour away from where I live. And you're not even paying me enough. I'd rather just stay home, edit this video, and go to work tomorrow. Because it's not worth it. I'm not finna waste my time and be tired. I don't even like doing music videos. People don't never want to pay you enough for music videos. I'm gonna finish running this money. I'm gonna come back to y'all, let y'all know how much I made. And also, I got a package today. So I'm finna open that up because I know exactly what it is. It's my duffel bag. And I want to open it with y'all on camera because it's so freaking cute. I'm gonna show it to y'all when I'm done counting this money. Okay, y'all. So your girl came home with... 200 in big bills then in extra ones i have 76 so that's 276 and then in ones i have one two three four so that's 676 that i need i almost made 700 which is what my goal was for tonight i swear i would have came home with like two bands if they was not hating on me that tough Cause it was two sections and they came at separate times. I would have been in both of those sections, but I'm grateful for my 676. But let's open up this package. Cause I feel like it's gonna put me in a better mood. Also, another thing that pissed me off was as soon as I got my money, why did the sweeper come up to me like, oh honey, are you gonna tip out? Damn, I just got my money in my hand. Let me grab my stuff first. Bro, everybody be having a handout and it's so irritating. Like, I had a rough night and the first thing y'all doing is coming up to me asking me if I'm finna tip. I always tip y'all. Why are you even asking me that? Let me go grab my bag. Like, relax. I had a rough night. Can you give me a second? I just have to remember, people are here really for themselves and nobody fuck with you for real in the club. Like, you just really gotta go there for yourself and just get your money and go home. Even one girl that I thought I was cool with, when I was getting kicked out of one of the sections, she was just like, yeah, it's just us. So I thought we was cool. Why are you even saying anything? You should just mind your business when it comes to me if you're cool with me. Don't say nothing about if I'm in the section or not, if we're cool. Why would you agree to kick me out? Everybody's there for themselves. I'd be having to tell myself, like, them is not your friends. You gotta remember that. Anyway, enough with the negativity. Because who cares about them? Your girl got a new duffel bag because if I go somewhere, hint, hint, I might be going somewhere soon. And it's so freaking cute. It's so freaking cute, y'all. It is a Von Dutch jack's overnight bag in pink that's exactly what i wanted this bag was about 380 dollars i believe oh the inside is so cute it has the von dutch patch and on the zippers of course it says von dutch and it has two pouches one little one not even that little it's pretty big actually and then this really big one yeah, it has a side pouch right here as well. And this pouch goes really deep inside the bag. Y'all, don't talk about my nails, okay? I cut them down because I was moving. And I'm gonna take them off tomorrow. And I'm gonna put on my press-on nails. I'm stacked up on the press-ons. It's crazy because I really don't even like Von Dutch like that. But I just like this bag. So I was like, I gotta get the bag. I like their trucker hats, but that's all I really like from them. So yeah. That's how my night went tonight, y'all. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I think I want to go get an acai bowl. I've been craving an acai bowl really bad. But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow's better.
What's up, y'all? So today's Saturday now. It is Saturday night, and we're not even gonna talk about how unproductive I was today. I mean, I was productive with editing. Like, I finished almost two videos today, so I'm posting one tomorrow, and then I have another one that I'm getting ready for for Wednesday because I want to upload twice this week but that's all i did today like i still got these freaking nails on my fingers i still have stuff i need to do around my house i guess it was productive just not as productive as i wanted to be but at least i got a nap in <laughs> we about to go to work y'all hopefully tonight we don't come across any more sassy men hopefully it's nothing but men that empower women to get to their bag okay i just don't have time for that energy tonight we about to go to work y'all so i either see y'all when i get to the club or when i get back home either one Tonight was so draining, you guys. And it was draining because it's daylight savings. The time went back tonight. So when it turned 2 o'clock, it went back to 1 o'clock. So I had to stay in the club a whole extra hour. And I worked really hard for the money that I made. My goal for tonight, it was Saturday. I'm like, okay, tonight I want to make $1,000. It's not really giving $1,000. Tiana Taylor came into the club tonight. And she was so sweet, y'all. I was in her section, but it was a lot of girls in her section. It was like 10 girls in the section. And the reason it was 10 girls, because usually that don't happen. The reason it was 10 girls is because she came when we were closing and basically they were like we need some girls to stay and it was like 10 of us that decided to stay because we like oh it's gonna be a bag and since we all stayed they was like well we just gonna all let y'all work we ended up getting like 200 a piece i had one dude throw like 200 dollars at me and he was like do you got a daddy and i was like what <laughs> he was not talking about my biological father you guys he said we could run it up together we could make a hundred thousand together Boy, boy, please. And then the guy who kicked me out of his section yesterday, he came back to the club again tonight. The club was packed tonight, but it was a lot of people who were recording, not throwing no money. A lot of people just sitting around drinking, not throwing no money. It was a lot of that going on. It was one of the dancers' birthday. She had a customer come in for her. She made a bag on the stage, y'all. She probably made around like 10K on the stage by herself. I'm Finish straining my money, y'all. The goal was a thousand. I know I didn't make that. I'm hoping I made at least 700. Let's see. So these are my ones. And then I have my big bills over here. Your girl made more money than she thought she did. And that's just period. So in my 20s, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, a hundred. Two, four. So that's 140. And then we have one fifty dollar bill. So that's 190. In tens, we have 10, 20, 30. So 190 plus 30 is 220. And then in my ones, I have 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 600 plus the 220 is 820. And then in leftover ones, we have $19. So 820 plus the 19 is 839. So your girl made $839 tonight. I was this close. I just needed like 160 something dollars. I thought I made less than this. Honestly, I thought I was coming home with like $500. Yeah, that's how my night went, y'all. That's what was going on in the club tonight. I did buy me a new outfit. It was super cute. I love the outfit. So I will be going to work later on tonight because it's already 6 a.m. right now. The sun finna come up. Y'all could probably see the sun coming up. So yeah, I'm about to shower, go to sleep, and I'll see y'all in a couple hours. Happy Sunday, y'all. Today's Sunday, and I'm about to head to work. I'm super tired right now. I usually take a nap before I go to work, but I wasn't able to take a nap tonight because I was just like doing stuff around my house, and I went grocery shopping and stuff because I've been tired of eating out, so I went grocery shopping today. And by the time I got home, I was like, I don't even got time to take a nap. So your girl's just about to go to work. I also think the time change is kind of messing with me a little bit. But I might take tomorrow off work because these three days, Friday, Saturday, and today, they've just been feeling very long. 
And I took my nails off finally, which I was gonna go get them done, but I think I'm just gonna give them a little break. And I'll probably just wear my press-ons until my birthday. We'll see how Sunday goes for your girl. I'll see you guys when I get to the club or when I get back home, either one. My night was BS. I probably made my minimum, which is 500. We're gonna do a money count right now and see. I did partner with somebody towards the end, but I feel like I should've just worked by myself. It was just giving like work by yourself type of night. So I was kind of annoyed that I had to split a bag, but it is what it is, y'all. I'm not, I'm not really tripping for real. I'm not. But I did turn in some of my ones that I had to split with somebody. So I'm gonna separate my big bills from my ones. Y'all, why did I get told tonight by two different people that I look like Jada Waiter? I want to be Jada Waiter. Like, no, I do not look like her. I feel like the two people that said that, and mind you, they were not together. It was like literally two separate people. It was a white guy I was dancing for, and then literally like later on in the night, girl that I was dancing for, she has said it. I honestly feel like they said it just because I'm brown skin, she's brown skin. I got long hair right now, she got long hair, and like she's petite, and I'm petite. So it's like, I feel like that's literally the only reason, because skin complexion and the long hair. I did not take it offensively because she's a pretty girl. Tomorrow's Monday, tonight was really slow, and it's like still considered the first week of the month. So I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna go on Monday. I might go on Tuesday though. It's supposed to rain Monday and Tuesday. So I don't know if I wanna go, I might just stay home. But let's do this money count and see what we made on this Sunday. I made my minimum, thank God. Cause I was really just hoping like at least 500 y'all. So in my big bills, I have one, two, 300. And then in ones, I did one, two, and then 50. So 250 plus 300 is 550 so your girl made 550 dollars on a sunday i didn't have no thousand dollar night this weekend but it's cool like all money adds up so i'm happy that i was coming home making money and not losing money what's up y'all so i'm just gonna start off by saying i've been doing really really bad vlogging i don't know what it was i just kept on leaving my camera at home i'm gonna catch y'all up the last time I talked to y'all was on Sunday, I believe. Sunday night when I came home from work. Today is Thursday now, but I did record clips throughout the week so I can kind of at least put those in there for y'all to see. We're going to start off with what happened on Monday. I had ran a couple errands, and then after I did those errands, it started raining. I was just over it because I hate being outside in the rain. Then I just went to my poo's house, and she had cooked, and we drank wine, and we just watched some movies. And then on Tuesday, I was editing a video for y'all. I also went to go get myself my birthday gift. calling me i ended up going over there to her house it was still raining so i really didn't feel like going to work or nothing and we just ended up cooking we got super lit y'all and we was doing our makeup and stuff so i just did my makeup drunk as hell she just Both did her us, yeah we bitch. just did our makeup drunk i'm baking by the way i need two bands tonight from somewhere five <laughs> And then we ended up going outside with some friends and then on wednesday i hung out with my best friend and my goddaughter and we had like did a little bit of shopping and stuff at the mall daughter got her ears pierced smiling at what are you smiling at huh the baby you're the baby
Everybody likes talking to her. She's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Don't you gotta hold her head anyway? Yeah, so I'll show her how to do it. So yeah. I have to hold her head. Look at her face. She looking at her face. Oh. Look at your ears. Oh, you told daddy mommy did it. I did go in Sephora, which I probably showed y'all, and I had got this cream skin milk oil cleanser from Laneige. This is the cleanser, y'all. I had got this cleanser because it melts your makeup off your face. And literally, I need to stop using makeup wipes. I've been telling myself, like, after this pack of my makeup wipes is done, I'm going to be done using makeup wipes because they hold so much bacteria. Any of y'all have used this Laneige brand? Let me know down below if it worked good for y'all or not. Or if y'all have any recommendations. This looks like this. And it comes with a pump. This bottle was about $40 at Sephora. And then that same day, I got a package in the mail, which I'm about to open up right now because I didn't even open it yet. If y'all been watching me for a while, I had got an air purifier a long time ago. And I love the air purifier. It works so freaking good. I needed another one because some air purifiers are good for big size rooms and some of them are good for smaller size rooms. I have a really bad allergies and stuff. So like my house cannot be dusty or anything like that and air purifiers are really good for keeping your air in your house clean i don't have any pets or anything but if i did this would be even more of a necessity this puree vortex air purifier so this is the filter it comes with everything you need this purifier is suitable for large spaces it also has a purification efficiency of 50% higher than air purifiers the same size as this one. This purifier has multiple filter options for your specific need. This purifier is perfect for allergens and odors such as pollen, pet dander, pet hair, dust, dust mites, VOCs, and pet odors. The noise level is so quiet y'all can barely hear it. And it also has 7 different colors of lights. This air purifier has multiple settings, starting with the power button, the light settings, the timer, the speed, and the timer also goes from 4 hours, 8 hours, to 12 hours, whatever fits you best. One fun fact about air purifiers is they improve sleep, which I never knew that they did that. So I'm super glad that I have these in my house because a person like me with a busy day-to-day -day life, it's a necessity for me to get good sleep. And having clean air is just important because, like I said, I do have allergies. This purifier is just so cute too because the lights, like, it's definitely giving a vibe and it's so quiet. The other one that I have is pretty loud, so I actually really like this one for my bedroom because it's just so quiet. So go ahead and get y'all one of these. Link will be down below in the description. I have one in my room and one in the living room. Link will be down below in the description, of course. And then now today is Thursday, y'all. My Thursday started off hectic. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw I posted about my birthday dress situation. Basically, he was saying he don't ship to the address that I sent him. Like, if you would have been responded to your emails or your chats, I would have gave you a physical address if that was the reason for the delay of my package. I never received any email saying that there was a shipping issue. The fact that I never received an email saying there was a shipping issue is crazy to me because that means what you was going to just keep my money until I said something. And even when I did say something, you never responded back to my email saying hey look i haven't shipped it because i need a different address to ship it to so if i never would have even mentioned him on instagram he would have just been keeping my money and not shipping my dress this is crazy with that being said your girl literally has to try to find a birthday dress and my birthday's in a week and a half I'm just like, whatever I do end up wearing, it's whatever. Like, I'm just going to have a good time. I'm not even going to let it stress me. Now, your girl is about to cook dinner. I'm about to make stuffed chicken, potatoes, and broccoli. And while I cook that, I'm about to watch this show. Have y'all been watching this show? Love is Blind. It's on Netflix. And so far, I don't really like some of the couples. And I really feel like a lot of these couples are not going to marry, to be honest. But I'm not going to ruin it for those who are not caught up yet. I don't want to get to talking on here and y'all be like, you done told me the part I haven't even watched yet. But let me cook because I'm hungry.
guys so that's my dinner i'm about to tear this up y'all i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope y'all still enjoyed this video even though i kind of like did a bad job at vlogging but i still got some clips in for y'all i hope y'all still enjoyed it make sure you don't forget to like comment share and subscribe make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time i post a video because who don't want to watch my videos everybody wants to watch my videos period love you guys so much Fuck niggas still can't believe I used to fuck with you Poppin' playin' B's cause I ain't playin' to be stuck with your damn